So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Gabe told me to meet him at the bridge.
Alex! Holy shit. That's really him. <laughs> oh, what's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. She's all grown up. I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Yeah. I'm just a little nervous. You should be. This reunion's being filmed. <laughs> okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey. Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Laith, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find our prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so-so reviews. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it. Wow. You two are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I've read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? What, uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around? Maybe the toilet seat? 
If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. This gnome has been places. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh God, please stop. No problem. <laughs> the tiny house movement is really taking off. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. What if I don't get in? Shit, what if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. I just don't want you to fall. You need stable feet with ladder work. And well, here we are. Well, here we are. These are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. Wow. You should start a business. It's not about the money, Alex. Wow. Good to know. 
so stuff just explodes around here every now and then. Sometimes you can feel it all the way down here. Intense. What did you think of the show? I loved it. Every time I see Molly in the tops, I think they get even better. Awesome. I'm so glad you liked it. I think it was even better than their set in L.A. You saw that video, right? Yeah. That one was so good, but live. Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. Hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. Wow. Just wow. Uh, what the shit is goat yoga? Yoga. With goats. Welcome to Colorado. Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. And step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's sweet. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. <sighs> it's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh, hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. If you like comics, I can... show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry, really. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. Oh, wow. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> 
He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait, are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Considering I've been here for, like, a minute, I'd say I'm undecided. Fair enough. I guess undecided is better than running away screaming. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you... Don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. <sighs> Damn. I know I saw it before. Wanna help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. <laughs> 